Hi, my name is Nina, and I am the butterfly lead here at Franklin Park Conservatory. We are just beginning our 27th season of Blooms and Butterflies, which is an exhibit in the Pacific Island Water Garden where I'm standing at the moment. And it is a live butterfly exhibit. So if you do come to visit us, you can see uh, a lot of butterflies just cruising around in here and um, just looking really pretty for you. Uh, today, I'm actually going to give a presentation about uh, the butterflies that you'll see here. Or if you are unable to come visit us right now, um, you get a chance to, to look at them and see what we do here. Um, so when you come to the conservatory, we do have a lab where our chrysalises are located. And we receive all of our butterflies from butterfly farms from around the world. So places like uh, Central America, South America, uh, Southeast Asia, Northern Australia, uh, places like that, tropical butterflies. Uh, and we do also receive a few butterflies from the United States, from our southern states like Florida, uh, Texas, and uh, places like that. So you can see some North American butterflies here too. Um, and when they come in, they, um, they are in chrysalis shape. So this is a swallowtail chrysalis, hopefully that's in focus. And um, he's in there changing into a butterfly. Swallowtails can take anywhere up to three weeks to emerge, so um, sometimes we're waiting on these guys for a little bit. Uh, but they're very beautiful butterflies when they emerge. All right, so let me tell you about the three most important things that butterflies are doing every day. Um, the first thing that they are doing is they're looking for food. So. Um, butterflies do feed on uh, different types of foods. Uh, this is called a blue morpho or a common morpho. I can't guarantee that they're going to uh, cooperate, but I do have a few, so let's try another one. This is probably our fan favorite. You see that bright blue color there? And it is a South American butterfly. And one of the interesting things about this butterfly is that it is a fruit feeder. So when this butterfly is out looking for food, it is actually looking for rotting fruits. So fruits that have uh, matured on the tree or bush and fallen to the ground, uh, they start to ferment. And that's what the butterfly is looking for, so fermented fruit juice. Uh, you will see in the garden here that we have fruit feeders for these types of butterflies. And uh, they cruise around looking for the fruit. They chase each other around. They're a really fun butterfly uh, to watch. Now, other butterflies, like we are used to seeing uh, here in Ohio or in other parts of the United States, are what we call nectar feeders. So those butterflies are going to be looking for flowers. Let's see. Uh, one of those butterflies would be something like this uh, Central and South American butterfly. Um, called a long wing butterfly. This is called a postman. And he is going to be out looking for flowers. Um, the reason it's called a postman is that um, these butterflies have what's called a trap line. So when they discover uh, a root of flowers, um, they follow that route continuously. So they became postmen, so just like a postman delivering the mail to specific spots on a route. Um, these guys look for specific spots uh, on their track line to feed on the flowers. Um, now another really interesting thing about these long wing butterflies, they have those long uh, oval shaped wings, is that they are very long lived. Uh, the most common question that I get asked at the conservatory is how long do butterflies live? Um, in the wild, on average, most butterflies live about two weeks long. They're very short-lived. Um, but the postmen and the long-wing type butterflies um, go a little bit longer. In the wild, they can go five to seven weeks if they're having a good season. Um, and in captivity, those long-wing butterflies can sometimes hang around for three or four months. Um, so they do really well in captivity. We have a lot of food for them. Uh, there's no weather in here. And of course, there are no predators. So um, they're pretty safe uh, in the conservatory. Now, because butterflies are so short-lived, um, the next most important thing that they are doing every single day is they are looking for a mate. Um, 
they need to get their eggs laid for the next generation. Um, so they spend a lot of time um, looking for each other so that they can get that done. And uh, an interesting thing about uh, butterflies is how they find each other, males and females. This little butterfly is called a Grecian shoemaker. Again, hopefully that is in focus. This one with the orange spots is the male. The female go away, but she has white. I just want to make sure she's not under my foot. Um, she has white stripes on her uh, wings. From quite far away in um, in the trees and bushes, the male Grecian shoemaker will open and close his wings um, fairly rapidly, and these orange spots kind of flicker like lights. And the female butterfly can see that from quite far away. Uh, even as humans, I can tell you across the room if this is a boy um, or a girl. Um, and that's how they find each other. Not all butterflies look different from each other. So some butterflies, like swallowtail butterflies, the male and female may look exactly the same. Same with the, the blue morpho that I showed you earlier. Males and females look exactly the same. So it's harder to tell. Um, they know based on pheromones and um, just naturally finding each other. Uh, so yes, not all butterflies are different from each other. All right. And then um, the third thing that butterflies are doing every single day is they are avoiding predators. Um, I'm going to show you a popular butterfly. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this butterfly. It's the North American monarch. Now, the number one predator for a butterfly um, is a bird. Um, birds uh, eat butterflies, unfortunately. And butterflies have adapted many uh, defenses against birds. The monarch, as you can see here, is a bright orange and black butterfly. As a caterpillar, it feeds on milkweed plants. Um, they only feed on milkweed plants. It's their only host plant. And there's a toxin in milkweed. The toxin um, passes to the caterpillar, and then when the monarch emerges as a butterfly, that toxin remains in the butterfly. So when a bird comes along to eat a monarch butterfly, it gets a really bad taste in its mouth, and typically will just spit the butterfly out. Um, the butterfly probably would not kill a larger bird, but it's it's bad enough that the birds learn to stay away from it. So. Bright orange, bright red butterflies have adapted these colors to warn predators away from them. Um, the same thing with the blue morpho that I showed you earlier. You may have noticed on the outside of this butterfly's wings, there are these large eye spots. And when this butterfly is sitting in the bushes, birds get tricked into thinking that they're actually seeing eyes. They don't see the shape of a butterfly. Um, they see a row of eyes, and they think maybe there's some little um, critters sitting down there in the bushes, uh, and they think twice about going after this butterfly. There's that bright blue color again. Everybody loves these guys. Very popular butterfly. There go. All right. I just have a couple, well, I have my Grecian shoemaker sitting there on the orange, and I have this little Asian butterfly here. Um, also having a little lunch. So we feed them oranges and bananas, things like that. And then the last butterfly I'm going to show you is also from Southeast Asia. It's just a very beautiful butterfly. It's one of our slow flying butterflies. It's called a paper kite. It has these very thin papery um, wings. Some people call this a rice paper butterfly. And it's one of our slow flying butterflies. Um, so I have some very bright light behind me. Well, maybe we'll go this way because they tend to head toward the light. Uh, but you can probably see how slow this butterfly um, flies. Um, maybe. <laughs> butterflies um, can fly as slow as like five miles an hour. And then there are some butterflies that are very fast. They have been clocked in around 35 miles an hour. All right, so I do have some butterflies to release. Try to get organized. 
actually, this is one of our fast flying butterflies. They have very thick, strong wings, and they are, they're, they're quite fast. He's going to have some lunch. Another monarch in here, a couple blue morphos. Hopefully these guys cooperate and don't just go back to the window behind me. Oh, yep, they're going behind me. <laughs> and then I have a bucket full of smaller butterflies here. Again, hopefully that light behind me is not too bad. sunshine. I spend a lot of my day picking them out of the window, so don't worry. Um, they will be uh, released back into the middle of the room. Uh, I've got some cattle heart butterflies here from Central uh, America. They all want to fly the opposite way. <laughs>